Arcane Studios' Redfall, as we all know, had an incredibly rough launch. I don't need to rehash everything here, but it received a 57 on Open Critic with only 14% of critics recommending the game, and Steam's player reviews are no different with a mostly negative score and only 30% positive reviews. In the past week, however, Redfall received Game Update 2, which brought some desperately needed improvements to the game. Suffice it to say, my interest was definitely piqued and I decided to give the update a go. The full patch notes are in the description below, but the highlights are as follows. Performance mode on Xbox Series X and S, enabling 60 frames per second gameplay, improved PC performance and stability, stealth takedowns with staked weapons, UI and accessibility improvements, numerous improvements to default aim assist and dead zone tuning, increased open world enemy population and mission encounter balancing, new unique open world enemy encounters, and much, much more. Now, I was never able to do a full proper review of Redfall at launch, with only about five hours of gameplay to my name. My initial experiences, however, were not good. The biggest issue I had was with PC performance. The game simply did not run well for me at all. So I put it down very quickly in the hopes that Arcane would release some patches ASAP. Strangely though, these updates have been far and few between since launch, even when you consider the recent update. We've had the version 1.01 hotfix, which didn't do all that much. The first big update with version 1.1, which came out over a month after launch, another small hotfix with version 1.11, and then finally game update 2. As Redfall launched on the 2nd of May 2023, that's only two small hotfixes and two larger updates in five months. Regardless, with game update 2 finally in my hands, I was keen to mainly just see how well the game ran, especially now that I have an RTX 4090. If the game cannot run well on this graphics card, then it has little chance on anything else. And my initial experience with Game Update 2? Well, pretty decent actually. Aside from me needing to turn on VSync in the NVIDIA control panel, because there's still not an option to do so in the in-game menu for whatever reason, the game was running fairly smooth and you're seeing that gameplay right now at 4K 60 frames per second with maxed out settings and DLSS on. So, my biggest hurdle was overcome. The game's performance is very much acceptable. It took them longer than I would have liked, but we got there. So I started playing and yes, I immediately noticed some of the improvements they've made to the game. I could do stealth takedowns, there were more enemies running about, zero crashes in my brief playthrough, and it does have Arcane's signature art style, which I can't help but like. Yes, there are still issues with pop-in, blurry textures here and there, and small things like fire effects looking a little bit out of place, but I do enjoy the look of Redfall. Though, there are definitely still aspects of the game which I don't like. Enemy AI continues to be pretty bad. I hate how there are no quest markers on your compass when you have a quest selected, so you need to manually ping a marker in the map every time to figure out where to go. The gunplay still feels strangely floaty and kills aren't really satisfying unless you get a headshot and so on and so forth. But then I got to the next most important question. Do I actually like the game? Is it fun to play? And well, that's where I began to struggle. My main feeling when playing Redfall again five months after launch was just disinterest. Even with this latest update, which absolutely does improve the game, I simply have no urge or excitement to play. It's like all the fun has been sucked out of the room and I'm sure many others feel the same way for one reason or another, but here is my biggest issue right now. Even though you can play Redfall solo, it is clear the game was built with multiplayer gameplay in mind. Simply looking at the heroes and some of their skills reveals as much, but even when playing the game, I kept thinking I needed a friend in here to make this more fun. Killing cultists and vampires in Redfall is just not all that fun on my own. Problem is, Nobody is playing Redfall right now, even after Game Update 2 dropped. In the last 24 hours, it peaked at 55 concurrent players globally on Steam, which is absolutely a problem if you want to play the game with someone else, let alone someone in your region with a better ping. Not to mention, the game still does not have any matchmaking whatsoever. So you're going to have to rely entirely on asking friends or random people online to see if they want to play the game with you. 
And I think that is a huge ask for anybody right now. I genuinely cannot imagine anyone that I know wanting to play Redfall at the moment. Any hype that existed around launch has simply subsided. There is no excitement left. And yes, in part, that is unfortunately down to the lack of frequency when it comes to updates, let alone any kind of communication for the game. The Redfall Twitter account has a total of two tweets in September. The last article on their website before the latest update was four months ago, and Bethesda themselves are just rarely talking about the game. How can we as players get excited about playing a game when there is a lack of hype and excitement from the publisher and developers themselves? And guys, you know me. If you've been watching me for any length of time, you'll know that I am a huge Bethesda fanboy through and through, unashamedly so. And I fucking love Arcane Studios. Dishonored, Prey, and even Deathloop were all amazing to me. But even given all of that, I just simply cannot build up the motivation to play Redfall right now. Yes, we've seen so many comeback stories in the games industry as of late with Cyberpunk 2077, No Man's Sky, and yes, even Fallout 76 to some extent. So part of me absolutely held out hope that this could happen for Redfall as well. Unfortunately, it just feels like it's too little too late for this game. Almost everybody has moved on. There are too many other great games right now to play, and I genuinely don't think this game has a chance to have its massive redemption arc. The one hope that I see is that yes, it is available on Game Pass. So slowly but surely over time, it might be able to build a hardcore community which come to really love the game. But for that to happen, the game needs new content. It needs more updates. It needs more communication. There needs to be a better fostering of the community. And right now, I'm just not seeing any of that. And I would say most people aren't either. If that were true, we would have seen more people stick by the game and concurrent play account numbers not drop down to single digits on Steam. Now to be clear, I don't get any sense of enjoyment making a video like this, whatsoever. I am very well aware of how incredibly difficult games development can be, and for years of hard work, blood, sweat and tears to end in the way it did for Redfall just fucking sucks. I couldn't imagine how the devs would have felt in that moment at launch and beyond. I also think it was disgusting how some of the devs were treated in that launch period by some people. In my mind, no matter how awful a game's launch is, there is zero excuse for that kind of behavior. We're talking about video games here at the end of the day, everything needs to be put into perspective. My ultimate point here is that while I do want to see games like Redfall turn around and eventually succeed, for that to happen, there needs to be a lot of work put into it. I of course have no idea how many devs are left working on the game, and I have no doubt they're working their asses off, but all I can comment on is the action we are seeing publicly. And unfortunately, I'm not seeing enough right now, and I do worry that we never will. But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, Wastelanders. What do you think about Redfall? Are you going to be playing it after Game Update 2 dropped? And until next time, this has been Lone. Please take care of yourselves, and would you kindly keep fighting the good fight.